Hello everyone, this is Elf Angel from Elf Angel's Creations. I want to do a quick video here to talk about, uh, um, to introduce and talk about feather magic. Um, feather magic has been used in my culture for thousands and thousands of years. I, f I come from the Plains Cree tribe in Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, this is a, a feather, this is a magpie feather. Um, you know, any kind of feather can be used, but in this case I've been working with the magpie medicine for almost two weeks now. This feather was um, given to me from a magpie. Now the spirit of the magpie, what the spirit of the magpie does is it helps go into the darker situations in your life and it brings the light back into the situation. Um, the magpie, as we all know, is black and white. The black represents the darker part, the shadowy parts of our lives. The white part represents the, um, bringing back the light into the situation. Um, there, the magpie feather is kind of a bluish green color, which represents um, natural healing. So it represents protection and healing as well too in your situation. Now, this magpie feather I have created. Um, I do know there's a couple of people that asked about the, um, the colors. Um, first of all, the green color here represents here in Nautagua Dogan. It represents Mother Earth as well too. Um, Nautagua Dogan means grandmother. Uh, it's a grandmother spirit in our culture. I can actually feel this uh, feather vibrating right now as I'm talking about these spirits. Um, Nikawaskeek represents Mother Earth. That's how we say it in our culture, Nikawaskeek. Um, the, the light blue color here um, represents uh, the male aspect. So I myself am a two-spirited person. Um, what a two-spirited person is, is that um, we are born with a male and female soul. We are born with a male and female energy in our lives. So we're born like that. And so we work with the male and female energies in our lives. Um, the blue here represents the male energy in my life. Um, here we also are given uh, the colors of red, red, white, blue, and yellow. The four colors here represent uh, the four colors of the medicine wheel, the plain screen medicine wheel. Um, the color of um, the color of yellow, no, the color of white. Sorry, the color of white is east direction. The color of yellow is the south direction. The color of red is the west direction, and the color of blue is the north direction. They represent the four main spirits that we use in my culture. So that's what these four colors here represent. Um, the braid here, as they're brought together, the braid here represents. Um, Mind, body, and spirit coming together as one. You know, it's unified as one. That's the ba the braid represents. Um, of course, it is uh, one side of the feather here. We have the female energies. On the other side of the feather, we have the male energies. So again, we're bringing that um, two-spirited energy in there. The male and female energies working together as one. Um, we have here the color white. So the color white here represents purity. It also represents the white part of the magpie. Um, the beads here represent here, uh, again, we're given the color purple. Again, that represents, um, Notagua Dogan, the grandmother energy. Um, the light blue here represents a turquoise energy, which, uh, I am kind of wearing tonight. Yeah, I'm wearing turquoise tonight as well, too. I do have turquoise beads. Turquoise is a very, um, very sacred color in our culture as well, too. It brings about, um, you know, the, the ancestral knowledge that is needed by our people. Um, we have here like a silver-like looking metal energy, um, and that's to represent the element of earth again, and silver and turquoise work hand in hand, just like my ring. It has uh, that silver-like looking energy, um, and it has that turquoise stone on it. Um, same thing on the other side, so this one here represents uh, again the female aspect. This one here, I didn't want to put too much blue into it, but then I did uh, add a, a light pink color. So this one here represents the, the male energy as well too, uh, or, or vice versa. One could represent a female energy, one represents a male energy. So the purple could represent a male energy as well too, especially for those people that are too spirited. Um, the light pink energy represents a female energy, especially again for those people that are too spirited. So this is um, this feather here represents a lot of things for me. It represents my two-spirited culture and how I'm bringing my culture back, um, you know, in place and how I'm honoring my ancestors again. Um, the magpie um, 
is able to go into a dark situation and bring that light back into the situation. Um, the reason why I went into the whole explanation of this feather here and then the reasons behind the colors and things like that is because what the spirits have asked me to do is to bring back a very old, old Native American knowledge and a very old Native American uh, magic, um, Native American medicine. I started doing the feather readings. So the feather readings are is where we use a feather, um, and it could be any kind of feather. In this case, I'm using the magpie feather. I do have other feathers as well too. Um, so every every feather does something different. Every every bird out there represents something different, a different energy. But in this case, I'll talk about the magpie energy um, for starters. Now, a feather reading is where we're able to look at the feather and where we're able to um, tap into our ancient Native American knowledge and we're able to uh, help you in situations of um, you know, love, situations of prosperity, situations of abundance, uh, protection, healing, good health, um, bringing Babaywan, which means good luck, bringing that into your life. Um, we, us Native American people that work with the feather magic, we do help in situations like that. Um, not many people, though, will do... Um, uh, a feather reading like I said that I'm able to tap into my ancestral knowledge and I'm able to and then you know work with the spirit of the magpie or the spirit of the eagle or the spirit of the hawk the spirit of the vulture a uh, spirit of a canary spirit of um, a dove you know you name it I'm able to work and with that spirit animal and I'm able to help you in your life to assist you when, however you need assisting um, uh, so this is a very old ancient medicine that I'm bringing back to my culture and I'm bringing it back to my um, Two-spirited nation and I'm bringing it back as well to people in general So, so I, what I tell people because I do over 10 different styles of divination over well It's actually over a hundred divinations. I do uh, even more than that but uh, I keep it um, a lot of it, I keep it down low, um, and then I just t talk about mainly the 10 that I do, and then I could talk about more if I, if you guys need. Um, but in this case here, I talk about the feather readings and how the feather, I use the spirit of the feather, um, to help channel that spirit of that animal and to help that communicate with that animal in the spirit world to help you in your situations. So that's what a feather reading does. A feather reading will help you in your daily situations, um, whether it's like a, the, um, the above things I named, um, and then the spirit of that feather will help you and whoever you need help. So, so for those of you that are interested, um, that want a, a Native American old style reading, which in this case it's a feather reading, very ancient old medicine. Um, get a hold of me on my website. My website is www.elfangelscreations.ca. You can get a hold of me on my email, which is the, um, elfangelscreations at gmail.com. My cell phone, you can text or call me. My number is 639-536-0174. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll have the links below. Um, and my, you could find me on Facebook under Elf Angels Creations. That's my business page. So that is a feather reading, everyone. Like I said, if you're interested, get a hold of me. And then we'll arrange a, a payment and things like that. So thank you so much, um, Spirit and the Magpie. Thank you for your medicine. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone.